Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, August the 30th, entitled, Follow My Example. Now, as we talked about Sunday morning, distribute to others, we said that our life is going to speak way louder than our words. My example is going to be what people truly remember. Now, when I talk about my example, Scripture goes, and we're going to look at some Scriptures here in just a second, they take a very bold stand and say, follow my example. And we need to ask ourselves, does our life, not just certain moments, but our life in total, give a godly example that someone could actually follow? Now, Jesus made the statement first in John 13, 15. We read these words. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done for you. And I think all of us would agree. Jesus' life becomes the ultimate example for everyone uh, from his day all the way to this. He demonstrated what unconditional love really was. He showed how uh, a mercy should be administered. He also showed us how to confront He let us know that there are certain things that should bring anger and that we should deal with because they are unhealthy, they are dysfunctional, and they are wounding people. But overall, as we look, I don't think anyone's life has ever influenced mankind in human history more than the example that Jesus set. And yet, as we look down farther, Paul actually says the same thing in Philippians 4.9. He says, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Again, in Philippians 3.17, he says, Join with others in following my example, brothers, and take note of those who live according to the pattern that we have given you. In other words, we need to look at people and see, do they have the quality and the character that Jesus modeled so that I can also learn from them. As I look and think of the mentors that were in my life, as I think of Brother Moore, as I think of Bruce Coble, uh, these are two men that mentored and discipled me. They were not perfect. They had faults in their life. They had struggles and failures. But in total, they mirrored and modeled the type of life that I believe exemplifies what a Christian truly is. And they impacted me. They changed me. And a lot of my uh, health and a lot of my understanding of who God is came from these godly men. Now, in 1 Corinthians 11, 1, it says, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ, which really is the, the chain of command. Christ sets the ultimate example. I walk out and mirror that example. And Lord willing, people are able to catch an understanding of what it looks like because there is nothing more powerful than actually seeing in true life someone walking out a Christian life. It is impacting. It changes people. And every one of us are called to be that. That's the reason Jesus said you are a light. You, your life is a light. Now, I thought about a couple of uh, qualities or characteristics that I hope that someone would see in my life. And the first one is a genuine love and concern for people. A genuine love and concern for people. It's one of the things that I value. Now, sometimes I get busy, sometimes I get distracted, and I don't communicate that as clearly as I want, but that is a value. The second one that I had here, and I also put regardless of their sin, struggles, or baggage. I want to love every single person. Wasn't always that way. At one point, I was very judgmental very critical. And I'm praying that God is burning that unhealthy, ungodly attitude out of me. Now, the second thing I put is a positive attitude. I want to change the water level always to make it healthier, better, and more vibrant in any place that I go. I want to be the difference maker. I want to be one that helps people see the good side, the positive side, the godly side. Third one that I put down here is have enough humility to allow other to be other centered that really is a goal for me and i know i don't always live up to that goal but most of the time i want to be other centered i want to be more concerned about the other people in the room than just about my own concerns i believe jesus modeled that in a powerful way so it's a goal for me as part of my character and then the last one i said is willing to lead even when it's unpopular jesus uh walked the way that he walked and eventually ended up getting crucified because he would not turn from the course that he believed 
and knew was life-giving, even if other people didn't agree with him. Now, there are lots of other character and quality that I'd like, but those are the four that hit me the most. Now, I want you to think about your own life, your own personality, where your strengths are, what you do for a living, where you are in the day, and ask, what are the godly character that I need to monitor in my own life to make sure that I am a godly mentor? That when people see my life, they see something different. They see something life-giving. They see something healthy. They see something they might want. And hopefully they'll ask me that question that we talked about Sunday. Tell me the reason for your hope. If people start asking me that, I'm beginning to live up to the potential, the call that God put in my life. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I want to set an example that others can follow as I follow your example. And Father, that should be the goal of every single one of us. And so, Lord, we ask that you would just continue to open our eyes. Give us good mirrors, people around us that can reflect and give us good feedback and show us where we're coming up short, where our blind spots are, so that we can be able to be men and women who actually give life to others by giving an example of what healthy looks like in a world where healthy is sometimes very scarce. So Lord, we pray that you would do a work in us, do a work through us, put us in environments where we have people who can truly mentor and guide us, and Lord, we look for you to do your work in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.